Good evening, and welcome to another exciting episode of What I'm Drinking, a internet series that explores what's on my mind and what is going into my mouth in liquid form, generally, we hope. Uh, tonight, mid-September edition, as the weather is beginning to get colder here in central Ohio, thoughts turn to the jet stream turning, the flow of weather coming down from the north, Canada, and the Canadian beer that they make. And they make some very good beer. Um, you know, you know all about Molson and the Bad and Moosehead and Old Vienna. This isn't about that. This is about a real nice Canadian microbrewery um, that is not called Unibrow, which makes some very fine beer on their own, Fiend de Monde, Maudit, and we'll get to that in a little bit. But this is not about that brewery. This is about a Montreal brewery called St. Ambrose. And they've been in business for about 23 years, and they put out some very nice beer. And uh, some of it comes in a tube. Canadian beer in a tube. No, it's not really in a tube. This is just the packaging. I, I kid. <laughs> um, this is... <laughs> Yay! Okay, see, it has a cap. It's not really in a tube, but magic. <gasps> beer in a tube! Yay! This is a, a vintage ale that they put out for their 20th anniversary back in 1989. And I saw this, I think it was at Wyland's. I was like, yeah, I, I think I'll, I'll get this. I paid about six, seven bucks for it. Um, it's 9.8% alcohol. It comes in a 500 milliliter bottle. And it's, uh, I'm guessing it's a barley style um, beer. It's a, it's a, it's a big boy. Um, I had the, um, I don't know if I'd call it a pleasure, but I went to visit the, the brewery in a trip that we made to Canada, to Montreal in the mid-90s. And it was in the middle of a nondescript industrial park outside of a nice little neighborhood but you know we made reservations with our distributor when I was in the, in the in the wine business I made specific reservations with our beer rep and they're like oh yeah they'll take great care of you and we went and they're like oh I mean they knew what we were coming but they just didn't seem to to care much maybe it was maybe I smelled bad or something but I didn't, it didn't look like you were going to drop enough money. I, I was willing to, you know, we took the tour. There was, you know, there was like, oh, here's our, here's our hop. Those are our hops and eight. And those, <laughs> those are, that's where the malt is. And then, you know, here's, here's the nasty old terrier. Don't touch the dog because the dog will bite you. And I felt like, you know, our tour guide was going to do the same. And, you know, I was kind of disappointed. We didn't get any swag at the end of it. They offered no samples. It was like, mm, whatever. But it was Montreal, and Montreal is a great city, so just don't go to the McGowslin Brewery. Or maybe it's changed in 20-plus years since we've been there. So, anyway, the beer. Yes, it's a, it's a um, vintage ale from 19, oh, 2009. So let's, let's see what happens. In keeping with the Canadian theme... Yeah, and you see that moose head, yeah. Moose the, the ubiquitous moose head opener, so <coughs> there goes the cap. Oh yeah, it smells like poorly wine. I'm gonna use my Maudite Maudit glass from, from Unibrow. It says Unibrow on the back. So I'm gonna use that in, in honor of of Canada. Winter's coming and look at that. Oh wow. Oh, okay. It's throwing off some sediment there. I mean uh pour some for my Scottish wife out. I'll, I'll use the Chimay glass since since she's so awesome. Yeah, this is uh, throwing off some sediment. It's not like I shook this thing beforehand either. Very low carbonation. Kind of looks like apple cider or maple syrup type thing. Hey, there's your glass. <coughs> and here's mine. Wow, you can really smell the, the malt. And it's got a lot of alcohol going. Yeah, get, look, apple cider, which is another fall autumnal beverage isn't that great so here is um uh saint ambrose vintage ale 2009 and they say it could that you could have laid it down a couple years so it's been two three years so let's see what happens to it well that's rich mm, very rich. a lot Chico. of malt yeah syrup molasses for molasses, you americans treacle molasses Canadian maple syrup. 
no bacon, no Canadian bacon. Very long finish of malt and mm. kind of a, almost a little apple-y um, caramel. Very, very rich, very full body. And yeah, I'd say, yeah, quite, good, good call on this. Very low carbonation, though. Yeah, not, much quite, of, um, not much of a head going on there, but very tasty. <laughs> it is very thick. At 10% alcohol, it, it better be pretty thick. So. Mm. This is thick as Mitt Romney. Mm. <laughs> this is good beer. <laughs> And if you can find, search yourself a bottle, find yourself a bottle of this, yeah, I'm sure it will be worth your while. They also make a very fine pale ale, which is probably a, a derivative of, of this monster beer in my hand. And there's also a very fine stout, and occasionally they've come out with a frambois. Uh, but that's not as exciting. I, the pale ale is is a, is an English classic style, maybe a little a little bit more on, on the hops, but it's very good beer. This is a fine fine brewery, Saint Ambroise. Ask for the tube by name. See, there's nothing 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 in the tube. I feel like you should be eating this food. Look at that! Wait, magic, more magic it's coming up. <laughs> oh, it's beer! Oh, oh wow! Yay. Anyway, uh, I think that's about enough because we're gonna get silly on this ten percent beer. I'm already falling over. This is good. I'm, yeah, good call, me. Yeah. We had to set this back in the cabinet for two years. Anyway, this is the 23rd episode. Only three more episodes to go. Or 24th. Only two or three more episodes to go of what I'm drinking. So go back and look, or you'll never see me again. Because I am not doing a show on breakfast cereals after this. No. No more. No more internet. Um, No more internet. YouTube for a while, maybe. I don't know, unless I come out with a real fantastic idea. Anyway, that's enough from me. Um, I will see you in a couple weeks on the flip side of my trip to IWIPS. You all have a fine evening, life, um, September, and thank you very much for watching What I'm Drinking. <laughs>